we're down in the uh, wood chip uh, part of the garden where the dirt was uh, mixed with the wood chips and this area right in the middle if you look at from one end to the other end you can see that in the middle they're not growing so well and that's because of the wood chips being mixed with the uh, dirt and you can also tell there's more yellowing out here in the middle as we go the Clemson spineless towards the end you can see how it gets darker and darker green and the plants just look so much better out towards the end. The same is true with the red burgundy uh, it gets kind of yellowish towards the middle and then as we come out towards the end we get that really dark green look with the more tropical reds. Uh, now I'll cut a couple of uh, okra off of these and we'll take a look at the difference in the okra de that they produce. First of all these okra are way too big uh, to eat. I just let a couple grow so we could see them easier. I like to pick mine when they're about four or five inches at the most. I'm going to cut into these just so we can see. Uh, first, the uh, red burgundy, you can see it's a little more slender and it's shaped a little bit different too. We cut into them. Of course, like I said, these are too big to eat. But here's a look at the shape of the two. These are already forming those big seeds. They are shaped differently. Now let's go take a look at the flowers on the two. They're pretty similar. I always thought okra flowers were pretty. Uh, the uh, Clemson spineless is this one. And just over here I have a, one from the red burgundy. It might have a little more color to it. One thing, another difference I noticed, uh, the Clemson spineless seems to put out more side shoots. I have several that are way too big here. But anyway, it sends out uh, more of these side shoots and seems to produce more okra than the red burgundy. The red burgundy was just kind of a try it for the fun of it type project. Uh, it's a, it's an heirloom, so I'm thinking I might save some seeds. But uh, I, as far as comparing the two uh, for production, I like the Clemson spineless a lot better. They just produce more okra and have a bigger, healthier plant. The uh, red red burgundy is got that kind of a tropical look to it. They're kind of cool looking, but if you're wanting uh, okra to eat, uh, it probably wouldn't be on my top of my list. But I just wanted to share how these are doing, and also uh, show how the wood chips are affecting the growth on stuff on this end.